if you guys are ever considering moving out to the country, getting property, or starting a farm or a homestead, trash is going to be a topic that eventually comes up for you guys. Welcome to Home and Haven Farms. My name is Brittany, and today we are going to be talking about trash. Trash on a property, ways that you can manage it. Today we're also gonna go clean up some of my pastures, and I'm just gonna bring you guys along for the journey. Oh, and you guys, if the sky starts dumping on me, I might have to go talk inside and clean later. So we'll see what happens and take it one moment at a time. So depending on how far you move from a city or town, trash services may or may not even be available. I know that where we are, we're some miles from town, but we're not a 40 minute drive or anything. And even out here, some people who do receive trash services don't always have it picked up when it needs to be picked up. So you might pay for a service, but because they don't serve this area very much, sometimes there's mistakes. Sometimes homes get missed or properties get missed. So often in the country, people will burn their trash. And depending on what kind of trash they're burning, that could be a good or a bad thing. Not everything burns very well, and some things still leave debris behind. So it's something to consider when you go to establish a property or maybe you move out to the country. You may want to create systems so that you can deal with these things, um, whether it's collecting it and running to the dump or some people bury it. It's really up to us to figure out how we're going to manage our trash. Personally, I don't like trash. I understand every property kind of has a functional um, possibility pile, if you will. But there's a difference between something that is straight up junk and something with potential. Let's not mix anything up there, okay? <laughs> now, out here where we are this last summer, we had a burn ban. We had a very bad drought, lots of grass, and lots of flammable things flowing through our fields. So there was a hard no on, on burning anything. And as you guys can see, it's very wet. I let you know I might have to go inside if it rains. We have had tons of rain for the last several days. And sometimes life happens, things happen to where you cannot deal with your trash in that moment. And because we live in the country out here, there is wildlife. And so what happened this time is we had a trash pile and cats or stray dogs ended up getting into it. And we live in Kansas where it's very flat and windy and that wind has taken the trash all throughout our pastures. So today I'm gonna be going out here with my bag and I'm gonna be collecting any trash that the wind has taken. A lot of our pastures that have been resting over here are starting to green up, especially with all of the rain that is coming in. And the grass is, is ready to come in. It just needs some heat. <laughs> We've got the water. We're going to get out here, pick up all this junk, and get it set away until we can burn it. I think I'm gonna use this bag for trash instead because it's more durable than my paper bag in a wet environment. <laughs>
my cheeky girls came out. <laughs> It looks like our neighbors had the same problem because some of their feed bags blew over here. So that's another thing to consider are your neighbors and how they manage their stuff over there at their property. I'm over here by our ponds. I can see the guys in the background. And uh, I'm gonna clean over here too. So behind us, behind us over here, those are cattails. So once they grow in, those are gonna be really cool and they can get as tall as me. I'm only about, I'm only five foot tall, <laughs> but I'm going to go ahead and clear all this stuff out. That way it's not here later. It'll just make me feel better. So I'm going to clean that too. Well, I think that's going to be it for right now. Until next time. So I'm going to get this stuff packed up and we can finish things up. Wipe the dirt off my face. <laughs> it started, it started sprinkling again. So I opted to just close this video out over here with the shelter of the mudroom. Alright, so when it comes to managing trash, something that I want to do in the future is I want something to go around our trash dump area, our burn space. Of course, fireproof. Something around the perimeter of our trash space that will kind of contain our trash to where if the wind takes it, it's not going to just blow into our pastures. So before, we were just putting all of our trash in the trash can and burning it when that time came. The problem with that is similar to what we talked about out in the pastures where there is a lot of extra things that don't like to break down very well. Some plastics will burn, other ones, they'll, they'll have remnants left over. So Something that we're going to be integrating in the future is a sorting system. So we want, I'm going to be getting some cans for glass, for cans, and even maybe like hard plastics or things that don't break down very well. And then something you guys can do too is take that stuff to the dump. You need a truck or you might need to rent a truck. That's probably what I'm going to be doing later is, is renting or borrowing a friend's truck and running a lot of our stuff to a place that manage it, manages it and deals with it. Now, dumps don't always deal with trash in the best of ways either. So if there are ways that we can be more responsible for our waste, I think that that's probably optimal for us and our planet. That way we don't just go dumping on the earth and creating more problems than what is probably necessary or beneficial to anybody. I just wanted to talk with you guys about something that is a very real thing. It's a day-to-day -day thing. We all deal with trash and how we handle trash on our property is going to determine whether that property feels really good or feels like trash. Food stuff can be composted, so we don't have to have any waste there. If you get animals, you can feed the extra food to them. There doesn't have to be a lot of waste. So moving forward from here, I look forward to creating systems that will be really functional and efficient and keep our property healthy and looking beautiful. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please consider subscribing if you like the content that we create. And if you enjoy watching people's journey, we would love to have you join us and consider hitting that like button. It boosts us up in those algorithms and helps us out. So that's the end of this video, you guys. When it comes to moving out to the country, keep this in mind. Keep, keep it in mind on how you guys are going to deal with your waste. We'll see you on the next video.